Hello guys, my name is Mark and today I wanted to show you a game called Planetoid Pioneers. The game is currently in early access on Steam, so everything you're about to see is probably subject to change, but nevertheless the game is quite fun and has a lot to offer already. So let's jump right into it. So when you first launch the game you will be greeted by this funny intro that actually captures really well the spirit of the game. And as you might have imagined you will crash land on a planetoid and then you will have to find a way to get out of it. So, what exactly is Planetoid Pioneers? This is a Metroidvania-like uh, platformer game, I would say, which is physics-driven, where you explore circular worlds of different sizes, actually there are multiple planetoids that you can crash land on, and uh, yeah, you will be crafting a lot of things, solving a lot of puzzles, and your ultimate goal at, uh, on every planetoid is to build a rocket and uh, escape it. Your pioneer comes equipped with a scanner and an atomizer, which allows you to turn various objects that you find around you into raw resources. And by doing so, you also learn how to craft them. And that, in turn, once you learn how to craft them properly, will allow you to solve various puzzles that you will come across. The game can be quite challenging at times and uh, is obviously non-linear, so you are free to go wherever you want, pretty much. And there are also multiple ways how the puzzles can be dealt with. So, whether you need to build a ramp or a bridge to get to another location, throw a people down the hole to cut the power line, or maybe build a platform to, that will allow you to go to a higher level, or maybe use a grappling tool to climb up there, it's all up to you to choose the right solution. But it's not only puzzle solving, there is also combat in this game, and you will be fighting anything from local fauna, uh, flying enemies, crawling enemies, different crabs and birds that will try to attack you, and uh, you know, peck on you. <laughs> and uh, through robots and undeads and uh, you know automated defense systems you name it it can be quite challenging some of them are really easy to deal with um, and some of them are not so easy you can also build different types of vehicles apart from rockets obviously you can also build different types of rovers that will vary with their characteristics slightly with their speed with their ability to jump and so on and so on so it can be quite challenging and uh, probably the most interesting thing that i found so far actually as a game mechanic is that you only have sort of one life and the only way to extend your chances of survival is to build a clone or a pioneer and uh, the way you do it is you can actually place a sort of glass container with your uh, second body somewhere where you want to spawn it and once your main character dies and trust me that will be very easy on more advanced levels you will go back directly to that predefined copy if you forget to build a new one or if you use all of your copies well then all the progress on that planetoid is gone and you will have to start over currently there is one big planetoid in the game with different types of biomes in it where you can do multiple things and uh, solve different puzzles and fight multiple different enemies and several are smaller planetoids and every single one of those smaller planetoids is different and uh, you will have different types of activities that you will need to perform there and different type of puzzles that you'll need to solve are completely different and uh, every planetoid so to speak is a different theme. So there is one for example where you will need to catch some floating animals and uh, convert them into rocket fuel <laughs> to get out of the planet and uh, there is one where you will be racing around the planet to you know get the highest score. Uh, there is even one that's called Creddoid where <laughs> you can explore the planetoid and learn a little bit about the creators of the game. So yes there are multiple different activities, the different types of puzzles that you can solve. The game is very interesting, very challenging as well. Uh, I, I, I haven't been able to beat all of them, to be honest, but um, yeah, it gave me some fun. Uh, and also what I really like, it actually makes me laugh a lot. And when uh, your character is walking, because since it's physics driven, <laughs> it's super clumsy and it's funny clumsy. It's not frustrating. So yes, yeah, so this is something that is definitely an achievement for the creators of the game. <laughs> Sometimes when you need to perform a, a, a long jump or you want your character to climb a steep hill or something like that or uh, you know ju jump over the ledge you will find more often than not that <laughs> is so clumsy that it's almost impossible if you want to do it in a um, very arcade so to speak way but there is always a way around it that does not require a lot of agility but a little bit more brain work but it Actually, the way he tumbles over and, uh, you know, falls uh, all the time is very fun. So yes, definitely it's a really cool game that it's worth checking out. I would uh, highly recommend you, you do it. Because it has almost everything that you might want from a platformer game. It has combat, it has brain work, it has um, puzzle solving, it has exploration, it has crafting as well. Because there are some objects that you can craft that I've never found a use for, like lumps, for example. Anyway, game is really cool. I am definitely going to play it more and I highly recommend you check it out too. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that this review was helpful. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.